joy to bring God's word to you. This week all over the world the Christians are meditating on the death of Jesus and his resurrection. Jesus even during the last days on the earth he taught a very important lesson to the disciples. If you have your bibles you can turn to Matthew chapter 26 and verse 41. He says watch and pray and then he also adds the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak but sadly in spite of the caution the disciples were found wanting and they were sleeping when they should have been praying but jesus knew the significance of prayer it was his prayer at gethsemane that enabled him to face calvary the disciples were with jesus for 3 and 1/2 years but they still didn't learn this lesson sadly many of us have been christians for many years and i yet to learn the importance of prayer today in this present scenario god is asking us that we need to meditate on his word we need to pray so that our eyes and our ears are open to what he wants to tell us ephesians chapter 1 and verse 18 says paul says i pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened that's our prayer today why is it important that our eyes and our ears should be important should be open prayer opens our eyes to the provision that god has for us if you turn to genesis chapter 21 and verse 19 it tells about the story of hagar in verse 19 it says that god opened her eyes and she saw the well of water and it says that she filled her bottle with water and she gave the lad to drink not that her eyes were shut or that she was blind that she could not see that well of water probably her eyes were so full of tears or she was so distracted because her heart was so filled with grief thinking that probably she would lose her son that she could not see it till god opened her eyes and she could see that well of water and the bible says that that boy drank that water and he felt so refreshed and he was in good health maybe some of us are wondering today if this lockdown continues will i be provided any provision at all it is at this time that we need to ask god to open our eyes so that we could see our jehovah jaira who is there to provide every need of yours the second thing is that prayer opens our eyes to the assurance of protection if you turn your attention to second kings chapter 6 and verse 17 we read about the story of elisha and here in this verse it says that elisha prayed o lord open his eyes so he may see then the lord opened the eyes of the servant and he was able to see the hills were full of horses and chariots of fire you know elisha was able to see the wall of protection around him but the servant could not see if you see the background to the story the it was elisha who was teaching the people of israel that the king of aram was going to attack them and when the king of aram came to know about this he was bringing a huge army to attack them and it was at this time that the servant was so terrified and elisha says god open his eyes and when he opened he could see the wall of protection that was there around him it is often during these difficult times that we are not able to see god really working in our lives we are so consumed by the situation that is there around us probably some of us are worried whether our family or whether we would be attacked by the virus it is at this time with that we need to pray and tell god let me just see this wall of fire that is there around me and my loved ones and my home the third thing is that prayer gives us the boldness to move forward into god's will and god's plan if you look at moses moses moved ahead and because of that he was able to lead the israelites to freedom that's because he could see god in the burning bush he saw god in the mount of sinai he could see god in the cloud 
as well as the pillar of fire and he was able to accomplish the plan that God had for the Israelites. Did Moses have hurdles? Yes, he did. He could talk about his murmuring tongue, probably his stammering tongue, the murmuring Israelites or even the Egyptians that were chasing him. But he just moved forward because he saw God and he knew that God could accomplish that plan and that purpose that he had for the Israelites. Now I want to take you to the scene back to the Jesus and his disciples at the end of the Last Supper. At the end of the supper, Jesus said something profound to the disciples. If you turn to Luke chapter 22 and verse 36, the later part, he tells the disciples, if you don't have a sword, sell your cloak and buy one. The Bible has a number of references to the sword as the word of God. He was teaching a very important lesson to the disciples that they need that to have the word of God in order to guide them, to counsel them in all the challenges that they would be facing in life. The most important thing, however, is that our eyes should be open to the plan of salvation that God has for each of us. Every religion talks about salvation. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But Jesus took all our sins on the cross on himself so that each one of us would be saved from going to hell and would have the gift of salvation. If you are watching this video and you need to believe in him and receive him, you just need to open your heart and ask him to give you this free gift of salvation. Are you tuned to hear the voice of God? That is the question that God is asking each one of us today. I want to just tell you a short story and close. Two people were walking along the road in the busy street of New York and there was the sound of the rumbling of the lorry and the bus and the honking of cars. And as they were walking, one of them said, I can hear the sound of the cricket, that is a small insect. And then the friend said, in this din, but they stopped and sure enough, he could see a potted shrub and there was this cricket and then they kept walking along and as they were walking along he his friend asked him how on earth did you hear the sound of this cricket in this din that is there all around us and he said because i listened for it today the question that god is asking us is are you able to listen to the voice of God amidst the various voices that are there all around us. There is this voice of panic probably about the sickness that we are hearing every day, the disease, the death that is there, probably the fear of future, the fear of even losing a job. But are you willing to open your ears to hear what God wants to tell you? Are you willing to open your eyes and see the glory of God in, in your life. That is what God is asking us this morning. Even as we go into a time of prayer, I want to just remind you of these beautiful words that are there in this song. And it is like a prayer for each one of us. It says, open my eyes, Lord. I want to see Jesus. I want to reach out and touch him and tell him that I love him. Open my ears, Lord, and teach me to listen. Tell me, pray. Loving Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your assurance of protection, provision, and salvation. Open our eyes, Lord, that we may be able to see it and receive it in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day.